there's very few times where, like, your boy Asmongold can actually get embarrassed or feel awkward talking about something. But unfortunately, we are in even my uncomfortability zone. All right, let's go. Let's just, let's fucking get it out of the way. All right? In other countries, uh, women get maternity leave. This is America. So they have to breastfeed at work because they have young babies and they have to meet their honor point requirements so Bobby doesn't fire him because he needs to buy his seventh yacht. So we've got a number of situations that uh, have occurred and I'd like to talk about them and uh, get into it. Number one. The chairs would rock backward and could not be locked in position to properly position oneself to pump. Many mothers were sitting on the floor to pump. Now, I have never breastfed someone myself. So to be honest with you, I don't really know the anatomy of this. Like, I kind of understand the general idea, but I, I don't really... Guys, wh how are you capping this? How are you capping? Do you think this feels awkward? Yes, it does. It's not. St stop. It, it. Stop. Stop capping. I. I don't know the. I don't know how this works, but I will take their word for it that it's an issue. The tables. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard. And it literally makes me not even want to eat after I finish this video. The tables were made of wood were porous, which means that, like things can go down inside of them, uh, and textured so that even though they were cleaned, breast milk built up and caked on the table, discoloring and leaving trapped milk on the... Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just so fucking disgusting, man. They refuse to clean up after their, after their own milk? No, no, no. That's not how it works, man. Okay, imagine if you get a piece of paper wet. You can never dry that paper out all the way to where it's the exact same before you got it wet, right? So imagine you get it wet 50 times. What's that paper gonna look like? It doesn't matter how hard you clean it. It doesn't matter what you do. If you go to any of these like, you know, like you go to the, the bathroom and you see they have like a baby changing station and like a maternity station in a lot of these different bathrooms. Not a single fucking one of them is made out of wood. Not a, like a toilet is made from wood. No, it's not made for, it's not, oh, you don't get it. It also like, why are you shitting on your toilet seat? You're supposed to do in between. What are you doing? <laughs> That's not how you do it. I understand that you guys think that somehow these women have just got together and they're like, we're going to come up with this thing that is embarrassing even to read. We're going to say all of these things and there's nobody around saying that they're lying, right? Besides a few people of like a Twitter profile of Donald Trump or, or, or an anime girl with a, a with a hat on or something like that or maybe maybe an nft instead uh nowadays uh, there's nobody saying that these people are lying uh that actually work at the company right there's no there's no pushback against this narrative at all so it feels to me like it, 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 it I, I, nah, man come on like nobody's going to go to jail over this uh, nobody's going to uh this there this is not actionable information directly. This is just more fuel to the fire. It's like more sprinkles on the cupcake, right? You already didn't like the cupcake, but now it puts sprinkles of dog shit on it. And now you really don't like it. Why is there milk on a table? And like, if you spill some, you wipe it up. So, okay. So this is a point of contention. All right, all right, just, just, all right, let me... Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let's. So here's what we do. I want you guys to, for the next year, anybody who thinks that this would not happen for the next year, I want you to get a piece of wood and I want you to pour milk on it three times a day, leave it there for five minutes and then wipe it off 
do that every single day for an entire year. So collectively over a thousand times. And then at the end of that year, I want you to look at that piece of wood and tell me that it's not different. Nobody wants to do it because everybody knows what's going to happen. I'm not a woman, thank God. Why would I? No, you don't have to use your own breast milk. You don't have to induce lactation for the test. I'm just drawing an analogy to show how ridiculous this is. Uh, outlet situation was a fire hazard. There were only two plugs per room, one plug being used by a lamp with the USB jack for phones, the other outlet for the pump. No outlet for laptops or extra table space to place a laptop of pumping moms wanted to work or watch a show while pumping, so extension cords were being used. Uh, I don't know if extension cords are a fire hazard. I, I have no idea about that. Insufficient storage space. Uh, there were no locked cubbies for moms to keep their pumps safe. Many had to lug them across campus multiple times a day as they didn't want to leave them behind. At this time, women were uncomfortable using B-13s. I thought that was an airplane, so uh, I, I'm, I'm not really, as I said, I'm a 31-year-old single man. I've never had a kid before, so uh, this is kind of outside of my area of expertise. You'll see why it's important to have locked cubbies here in just a second. So uh, anyway, we have that. Yeah, they're locking the pumps up. Now, I would assume that carrying your breast pump around the Blizzard offices is embarrassing. And it's not that it's embarrassing. Breastfeeding is natural. It's totally normal. But it's like, imagine if you had to carry around toilet paper with you every single time you had to use the bathroom. It would be kind of awkward to just have it there in your hand. Uh, not really, it's in a bag. Yeah, but like, I think people assume that's what it is and it's the implication of it, probably wouldn't care. They come on a purse. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not like it's a big deal. I always bring my own toilet paper. What are you, Batman with utility belt? What? How does this work? No, you don't. No, you don't, bro. Like, you go to Walmart and you wipe your ass with the one-ply toilet paper in a giant wad. You clock up the toilet, you walk out of that, and you say, it's not my fucking problem. I don't want to hear about how you do things differently and how your world is totally different than everybody else's. It's fucking not. You're lying, and I don't want to hear it. So, let's go back over to number five. Who shits at a Walmart? Honestly, whenever you're at Walmart, you're asking yourself who actually shits in the toilet. If you've gone to the Walmarts that I've been to. So anyway, let's go to number five. Number five is the worst. <laughs> Some crazy shit at Walmart, okay? Refrigerators. Oh man, I, I don't even know, like... Oh god, I can't even read this. I've already had to read this once. Here we go. Oh God, all right, all right, let me just get this out. All right, and we're just gonna get this out one shot and I, I'm never gonna read this ever again in my life. Refrigerators had padlocks that were not consistently locked or could be accessed by other employees. Employees were using the fridges to store their beer in, but the reason there were locks on them in the first place is that women's breast milk would be stolen. Oh God, all right. We got them guys. We got him. It, it, it's so ridiculous. I, I, I can't even, I don't want to, I don't want to see it on my screen anymore. Like, I, I, I can't even see this on my screen anymore. This is so, this is so upsetting to me. What kind of workplace allows you to store beer? I don't have a problem with people drinking alcohol. I don't give a fuck about that. It doesn't matter. Like, this is a completely separate issue. Like, this is like, a, like, yeah, drinking alcohol leads to problems. Should it be in the workplace? Probably not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is, like, way worse. And, like, what are you even thinking about the alcohol for? This, like, it's way worse. Everyone has beers. Yeah. Oh, my God. Like, the alcohol, you know, gives a shit. Company, the highest paid CEO could only afford lactation office with a Morton Joe. Yeah, this is nuts, man. There are some individuals that work at this company that makes me uncomfortable it's hard to do i can deal with a lot of stuff i've had people grab my dick at conventions 
I've had people do it randomly and like uh, in, in in clubs and stuff back whenever we used to go down to Sixth Street and stuff. It, like, and it just it just happens, right? It never made me uncomfortable. I was just like, okay, you know, it is what it because it wasn't on purpose, right? Like most of the time, at least, it wasn't on purpose. So it was like, I, you know what, you thought it was like your boyfriend. And no, I'm sorry, it's not. You can tell because I'm a little bit bigger. But the fact is that this is a thousand times worse. And I, I, I can't even, and it's like not even happening to me. But just saying it is so upsetting to me. Oh my God, it's so upsetting. Recap on what happened. No. No, you're not going to get a recap on what happened. You're going to have to watch the video because I'm not saying it twice. No, 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 no. I, I, this is too much. You're going to have to watch the video. So I find that this is not really an isolated incident at Blizzard. It's not this like weird Blizzard perversion that only happens there. It's happened. It, it yeah, it's common. You mean common for the fetish? Maybe next time they do the national census, they'll put that on page four. Okay, I don't know how common this is, but I have no idea. But what I'm saying is that it's common enough. Why are we talking about this? Does it matter? It's happening, and it's happened before. Okay, look up popular categories on porn. Okay, okay. This is getting weird. It's not getting weird, okay? It started off weird, and it's getting worse. First time chatter, hello, I'd like to come inside you. Uh, apparently it's a displaced blizzard employee. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm not HR, so I'm done tiptoeing around these issues to be sensitive. Men stole them. And if they want to keep that hush-hush, maybe they should circle back to me whenever I report these things and share some of my transparency on how they, one, plan to respond, and two, how to mitigate these issues instead of blanket statements like, we took care of them. It's my job to protect employees, I'm not here to handhold or make people comfortable. I'm here to provide facts and testimony of my investigations. As one of the few women in security, I'm quite frankly tired of seeing HR not follow through on things that should be followed up on. This proves that the U.S. is the biggest shithole. Yeah, the thing is, the weird thing is that there are nobody, there are no people that do this outside of the U.S. This is a completely us only thing that happens so the moment that you cross the border uh, i don't even think do women even lactate in other parts of the country or other parts of the world or does that just stop whenever you cross the american border as well yeah it just stops yeah yeah that's what i thought too okay good uh, i'm glad that we cleared that up I'd like to add women are expected to return to office how are women supposed to feel safe working at blizzard yes uh this is not this would not make me feel safe uh, this makes me feel unsafe and I don't even work there and I'm not even a woman. So breastfeeding mothers aren't forced to work in other parts of the world to get by Kekona. Yeah, well, welcome to America. Uh, HR protects the company, not the employees. So it, it, this is the thing, right? What are the odds that men stole them and drank them? I would say it's not 100%. But... I'd say it's probably close. Like if it, like knowing guys, like I've I, I'm a guy. I grew up with guys. I, I went to a, a shitty high school. Uh, I went to college. Can I imagine guys doing this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I could imagine. It's not something they'd be proud of. It's not something that I ho fucking hope not. But yeah, I could see this happening. Hundred percent, hundred fucking percent. I could see this happening. Absolutely. Like, okay, wh what would I do if I were in that situation? I'd get a security camera, point it at the fucking, uh, point it at the fucking, the refrigerator, and, and then put a lock on it. Problem pretty much solved, I would assume. But, uh, kill helmet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that, that, that's probably what, don't hire women. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Holy fuck. Uh, so, like, that's, that's what I would probably do to solve the problem. And, uh, no, the truth is, though, is this is th this would probably solve it. And Blizzard, how much would that really cost, though? Like, ask yourself this question. How much would it really cost for Blizzard to have bought better chairs, to uh, have better tables, to have better outlets, to uh, be able to, you know, like, have people work while they're doing it, and to have a security camera and buy a lock? 
I would say total would be like 10 grand, $10,000 to solve. It's like, that's so cheap to solve such a perversion. It, it's so cheap. It's like, you just spend the money, it's done. It's gone, you don't have to think about it anymore. That's so fucking cheap to do, man. 10K would be enough uh, for company-wide. Yeah, because everybody probably uses the same two or three rooms. It's quality of life for the employee. So it, it really, I, and I think this is kind of, like obviously this is a manifestation of this, but it, it happens all over. I think that the stories with like women and minorities uh, getting mistreated by Blizzard, they're more salacious, but they're fucking everybody over. Okay, like there's nobody, it's not like if you're a white dude, you go there and everything's perfect. No, you're still getting overworked. You're still uh, stressed out about your job constantly. You're still being underpaid. You're still being fucked around in dozens of different ways. Maybe, you're, maybe your boss is still touching you in a weird way because like it's a girl or it's a guy that's gay or bisexual or something. That could happen too. So it's not like sexual harassment and this kind of stuff only happens to women. So I don't I don't want to make this a women only issue. This happens to everybody, although it probably happens to women more. It's important to keep that in mind too. I've been very outspoken uh, about many of these issues. Uh, I've been very outspoken about the Amazon issues, uh, about the anti-unionization by Amazon and now also Blizzard. We're gonna talk about that pretty soon too. And I've also been very outspoken about the stuff that happened at Riot. It was like two years ago where the executives were farting on people. No, I'm not kidding. Look it up. Uh, I've been very outspoken about that. Uh, I've been outspoken about, remember, I think it was Foxcom over in the uh, Malaysia. Uh, they would have, uh, they would lock people in. Remember how they had like that big fire and everybody died in the warehouse well the reason why they died is because the doors locked from the outside because they locked the employees in overnight so they couldn't escape oh they would put nets uh, across each different uh each different floor so the people that were working there wouldn't jump down and kill themselves so i've been very outspoken about all of these issues and i will continue to be outspoken about them I've said negative things about China, uh, about things like this. I've been very outspoken, and I, I will continue to be. Uh, that's all the that, that that's all the all there is to it. Amazon treats employees way worse than Blizzard, and you play New World. The truth is that yes, Amazon does treat the employees pretty bad. That that's definitely true. And this is what I said before, is that the new I'm supporting the New World developers whenever I, I'm playing the game. And there, here's the thing, you are supporting Twitch right now on Amazon by typing that message. You understand? Like, there's nobody who's innocent here. Nobody is getting away with this. Nobody is okay, and they're like, oh, well, I don't do that. Everybody does this. Yeah, I, everybody does this. No, I support you, fucker. Yeah, and where am I? Oh, well, I, I don't support New World. I don't support Amazon. I support New World. New World's owned by Amazon. So you can't say that. You, this is what I'm saying. It's impossible to do this without completely removing yourself from society. Which I've done a pretty fucking good job of, okay? We're going to use this one guy as content. Then after that, we're going to move on. We have to talk about the unionizing stuff. And we're going we're gonna to move on past this. But we want to find one chatter. His name is uh, Bobby Kodak. Er, sorry, not Bobby Kodak. I'd rather work minimum wage than be a millionaire doing this. No shot. Most depressing channel on Twitch. Wish I didn't j didn't listen just for the tranquility. Low IQ take. All the shit from a work fridge gets taken. Such a sheltered view from someone who has never worked. Dude probably saw milk and drank it. Mostly because you're sheltered fuck. A MRS ASMR has better substance than this trash. It's not real, you dub fuck. You right, brah. Books fucked up on cam. Making money doesn't mean you're, 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 uh, successful dickhead. Yeah, so quit. I am. I'm quitting Twitch tomorrow. Go ahead and quit as well. All right. Everybody, let's get his name. From now on, if anybody ever sees Twitch Chatter 0849, 
in any Twitch channel. Let it be known that he is a liar. This is your last day. You're not getting banned because just in case you say it again, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep track of you. We're keeping we're keeping good 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 track of you. Yeah, he just randomly <laughs> saw milk in a milk bottle with a pacifier on it, and he thought, oh wow. This must be for me. Here, I've got a picture of the guy that did that, too. <laughs> That's my lucky day. Shut the fuck up. Does he type anything else when I call them out? Track me, I don't care. I have actually- <laughs> done! Why are you typing? Okay. So, listen. Um, let's go back. We're, we're, we're just gonna- we're, we're, we're gonna try to move on, but it's- it's pretty hard. I, f I feel like this is pretty much the end of the, the saga here. Uh, this is really, this pretty much sums up the way that I felt about it. I saw uh, Bellyure made a tweet about this, and I feel like this pretty much uh, summarizes the way that I feel. This is just really weird, man. It it's just really weird, man. Walking the fridge doesn't stop people from drinking the breast milk. Ban anybody who disagrees. If you can believe it, there's more. So, this is yet another, once again, another situation where degeneracy. This is why the Bible had the Old Testament. It's because of things, like basically, you take Sodom and Gomorrah, or Gomorrah, and you put them together, and you get Blizzard Entertainment. Yeah. Like, this is why, the, things like this is why there's the Old Testament. Oh my god. Let's go ahead and let's talk about the next one here. A lot of people at Blizzard, if you can believe this, after seeing these situations, have wanted to become part of a union. So, uh, Blizzard is, uh, what they're doing is they're trying to convince the people not to become part of a union. Here's an interesting question. If the union was not advantageous for the employees, why would the management not want them to do it? Think about it. So let's go ahead. We're going to read this and we're going to see what's going on here. I want to say uh, before we have a lot of stupid conversations and chat, uh, sometimes unions are meet the new boss, same as the old boss. You're absolutely right. There are many unions that are corrupt, uh, they're bureaucratic, they're useless, and the only thing they do is siphon more money away from the workers. This can absolutely happen. But to say that this is intrinsic to unions is disingenuous. And I think that they can be good, and I think that not having them leads to this problem. It's an instance of too much of any extreme leads to problems. So I'm just going to get that out of the way this is not necessarily a uh i think that collective bargaining whether you want to call it unionization whether you want to call it an alliance whether you want to call it uh, a board whether you want to call it uh you know an interest group i don't really care about what you call it i think that collective bargaining is a very strong tool uh, it's effectively what all governments and all countries are, is just groups of people that are collectively bargaining. This is not a bad thing fundamentally. Yet yeah, most unions benefit the workers. They can. And I think that Activision Blizzard probably needs a union. I'm not sure. I'm not, I don't work there. I'm not an expert in this. But I think the fact that the management is telling them not to have a union implies maybe they should. So let's go ahead and read what they say. At Activision Blizzard, uh, we're working hard to create a more inclusive, supportive, and rewarding environment. Thanks to your input, we're making progress. In the past few months, we've announced that we're converting nearly 500 temporary workers to full-time employees at Activision Publishing Studios who increased, increased wages for a large portion of temporary workers and added paid time off benefits. I remember reading about this. These are actually changes. No, these are not caps. This is good. Like, you have to give them credit where credit is due or your complaints don't matter uh, because they're not based on reality. Uh, Blizzard has done these things, and these are good things. Yeah, these are just good things. Like, there's no 
uh, but or there's no anything like this. These are just good things. And that's all there is to it. I'm just making jokes. I just want to make that clear because there are going to be some people that are going to bring that up. We introduced a zero tolerance harassment policy and waived required arbitration of sexual harassment and discrimination claims. We made significant commitments to increase gender diversity and are dedicating 250 million to accelerate opportunities for diverse talent across the industry. We have more to do, and we believe that a direct dialogue between management and employees is essential to the success of Activision Blizzard. Uh, as you've seen yesterday, there was a communication supported by Communication Workers of America. So I'm assuming this is a, uh, a union. I'm pretty sure this is a union. Yeah, they use diversity as a buzzword to act as a shield to allow themselves to continue doing bad things to everyday employees that are not on the spectrum of gender or uh, sexual orientation. Uh, but they use these... Uh, they, they use these things as tools to shield themselves from criticism. It's not because they care about them. It's not because it really matters to them. Uh, it's just something they pay lip service to in the same way that Republicans used to pay lip service to Jesus and then go out and smoke crack off a hooker's ass. This is the exact same thing. So let's go back over. We're going to read the rest of this. Used to do, by the way, they still do it. Everybody still does it. But it's especially fucking hypocritical whenever it comes from somebody who's religious. So let's go over here. Communication Workers of America that asked employees to sign and submit union authorization cards. I want to be clear about this. Now, guys, we have to understand that he's being clear because this is in bold face. All right. The leadership of Activision Blizzard supports your right under the National Labor Relations Act to make your own decision about whether or not to join a union. So let me translate that. We cannot legally break your legs to prevent you from joining unions anymore. Period. Yeah, but they can't do that. Uh, you know, because back in the day, you send out you send out the Pinkertons, and you, you just you know you solve the problem, and that's what they used to do. Is people would have unions, and then they they shoot them or they beat the shit out of the people in charge, and no more union. Back in the good days, you know, used to work. All day for a quarter. Are they threaten their families mainly? Well, yeah, of course. It's cleaner and easier and there's less confrontation. Unions are like condoms. If someone's trying to convince you that you don't need one, you need one. I like that. That's really good. I've never heard that before. As you make this decision for your future, we ask only that you take your time to consider the consequences of your signature on the binding legal document presented by you, uh, presented to you by CWA. Once you send a document, you've signed over CUA to uh, exclusive right to represent you for the purposes of collective bargaining concerning all terms and conditions of employment. That means that your ability to negotiate all of your working conditions will be turned over to CWA, just as the document says. Uh, achieving our workplace culture. I don't know about that. I have no idea what the details on this is. I'm not sure. Achieving workplace culture aspirations will best occur throughout active, transparent dialogue between leaders and employees that we can act upon quickly. This is a better path than simply signing an electronic form offered to you by CWA or awaiting the outcome of a legally mandated, man mandated and regulated bargaining process sometime in the future. Achieving our workplace culture aspirations will best occur through active, transparent dialogue between employees and leaders. So the thing is, like, you're right. Like, what he's saying is true. Uh, it would be much easier if they just came down and they're like, listen, like, we got to figure out, like, how we're going to make this work. And then they sit down with the workers and they figure out how they make it work. Because there are, like, this is what happens in a lot of, like, this is what happened back in the day, right? Is it's like, okay, um, you know... Me and the boys were tired of working all fucking day and not getting paid any money. So, uh, uh, we're, we were gonna, we're thinking about maybe if you want to help us pay us some more money or we're going to kill you and burn down the factory. That's, that's the way it used to work. They didn't need a union. It just happened. Yeah. So, so yeah, this, this is just what used to happen. So like the idea that, oh, before unions, this wasn't an issue. No, they just did it on a more local level. If we fail to achieve workplace goals, we've set forth. What do you mean if? Um, if we fail to do the things we've committed to doing, then of course you will always have the right to engage with and vote for CWA. But for uh, but we are confident that you will make progress. We've re uh, previously pledged to create a workplace that you 
uh, can be proud of. As always, we welcome outreach with concerns or ideas to help make improvements. Uh, and there are multiple avenues internally for dialogue, both direct and anonymous. Yes, and those avenues for dialogue are intentional dead ends to prevent these people from happening, right? Because if you can get the if you can get the aggrieved or you can get the disgruntled person into the never-ending web, never-ending series of tubes of the internal management process of, uh, you know, HR, you know that they're never going to leave. You, you don't, like, and that that's where you get them to sign things where they don't talk to the co uh, not cops, but uh, they don't talk to the reporters and stuff like that. Yes, the dialogue is supposed to identify troublemakers, exactly. And, and then what they do, and, and like there are laws against this, but there are laws against a lot of things and people still do them. Uh, the fact is like, if you know who the people who are causing trouble are, you know those are the people that you want to isolate in other ways and then slowly make them feel like they're not part of the company, wait for them to fuck up, then fire them for something that's legitimate. So this is just how it works. Yeah, it's illegal to rob people, that still happens. These days, people think arson's illegal and killing your boss is murder. Oh, no, it still was back then, too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm pretty sure management is not legally allowed to discourage workers from unionizing directly or indirectly. Yeah, I remember I, uh, I, we, we got the same talk in, uh, what was it called? Uh, Sam's Club. They were like, oh, well, Walmart doesn't need a union. And I look at the, like, on the orientation room, and it literally says that it's illegal for them not to, to say that. And I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, oh, this is actually information. I, I don't really care about the other information beyond this. All I care about is what's being said by Blizzard. Uh, that's the only thing that really matters. Managers, I know that many of you are getting tricky questions from employees about union-related issues, and knowing how to respond can be tricky. To that end, uh, we will be holding several manager training sessions a week to provide you guidance on how to address these questions and ask that you attend one of them. Please look for invitations uh, that will go out before the end of the week. In the meantime, we'll be preparing uh, short Q and A's. So uh, very tricky here. I'll give them a little bit of advice. This is something I've learned before uh, over time. Uh, I can tell you what they're going to do because it works. You tell them you're going to do everything that you want them to do. And then you take the first step towards doing that. And you never take another step again. Because as soon as you kill the momentum of something, it's dead. So all you need to do is let people relinquish just a little bit. And then you just move on. It's the same as like most problems in my guild. The way that I would deal with most problems in my guild is somebody would message me. And they would be like, man... I really can't get along with Billy. And I said, what the fuck did he do? And he explains what Billy did. And I say, that's awful. That's terrible. How could he do that? How could he say that your DPS could be better? How could he say that you should have interrupted the ad? Th he called you out for your transmog. Okay, well, uh, I can see why you're upset. We'll probably have to talk to Billy. That person leaves? I never talk to Billy, and the problem is nine times out of ten solved. So I can guarantee fucking tee you, this is what Blizzard is going to do. It's like you think about like an HR worker. Do you think they want to do their job? No. They were they were playing Candy Crush before you came in. You ruined their game. Now they're gonna have to go all the way back up to where they were at because you came in with your stupid fucking problem that they don't have. They don't have your problem and they're pissed off because you're wasting, you're making their day worse by making them have to do their own job. So whatever is going to get you out of their office as fast as possible is what will happen. Shareholders control Activision Blizzard as long as Bobby and his slave drivers make them more money. They don't care if they're eating babies, not drinking their milk. You're right. Uh, and, and this is what I said before, is that if Bobby keeps making the money, it doesn't matter if Bobby is doing human sacrifices right outside of that orc with the on the statue in the middle. Like he could do s sacrifice, doesn't really make a difference because the investors, and, and why does this matter? Because the investors are 
not emotionally invested in this. They are financially invested in this and they see number go up. You know, my dad actually showed me on an article uh, that, you know, my dad is a, uh, he's from the, the stone age. So he gets this thing. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it before. Well, it's like a sheet of paper, but there's like a lot of them. And it tells you what you would usually read on like Twitter. It's called a newspaper. And he will tell me things in the newspaper that I heard about last month. He'll be like, so you hear about this whole NFT thing, huh? And I got an article for you. I want you to read about it. So you want to make sure you're caught up on this. He makes me read an article. And it literally says in the article to invest in Activision Blizzard because they're they're gonna they're on basically a, a, a buy the dip type of thing. We'll invest in them now because they're embroiled in controversy and eventually, you know, these things like the truth is that any controversy, yeah, yeah. No, no, I'm I'm serious. I I, I didn't I, I didn't take a picture of it. I was going to though. Uh I, I promise you it's real though. You can trust me, I'm a Twitch streamer. So the truth is, like, a lot of people are thinking, oh, wow, I'm going to make a lot of money investing in Blizzard. Activision, Blizzard, Stork. So you see what happens here, right? Is as soon as the pressure comes off, the stock just goes back up. We are in capital L territory. And I think that it will continue to go down until these, uh, until these scandals stop happening. Because the truth is, and I, I've said this before, I have a very nihilistic, negative view of humans, of people. In my opinion, I don't think that the investors would care if Bobby Kotick was sacrificing people regularly and everybody knew about it as long as they were making money. The truth is, Bobby can do whatever the fuck he wants to do, but the moment that he touches their money, old Bobby, the ashtray salesman, is going to be out on his ass. I'm glad I sold my position at 92-ish. Oh, I know why. This was the day that I announced I was going to play Final Fantasy. So this guy probably sold his stock. He was like, man, Asmund's going to play Final Fantasy. This company is going to go into the shitter. He's going to go into the absolute shitter. Good call, man.